As adventure riders, we ride on pavement, nasty, gnarly trails, and roads like this. Today, I have five tips for taking your adventure bike off pavement. Let's start with relaxing. The first time you get off-road, it doesn't feel very natural. The bike wiggles and squirms all over the place, and our first tendency is to tighten up, to look down at the ground, and, and hold our breath. So that's what we have to get past first. Keep your eyes as far down the road as you can. Remember to relax your shoulders, relax your grip, and take nice, easy breaths. When cornering, let the bike roll underneath you. On the road, we lean in with the motorcycle. The motorcycle leans in and we lean in. When we go off pavement, the motorcycle still leans into the corner, but we stay to the outside of the corner. The easiest way to make sure you're in the proper position is move your body to the outside and look all the way through the corner. It's like you're trying to peek all the way around. The higher the speed you're going, the more you need to move to the outside. Eventually, you need to be standing on the motorcycle and you shift to the outside and peek through. Now your arms are gonna be your limiting factor here. So you'll end up moving slightly forward on the bike and then moving to the outside and that's gonna give you the greatest ability to see as far through and that's gonna put you in the proper position. So the bike rolls underneath you and you're staying on top of the motorcycle. More vehicles than ever are using roads like this. We need to remember to stay to the right. There's no painted lines on these roads to divide where you're supposed to be and where they're supposed to be. And it's very common for people to take their half of the road out of the middle. As you come around these corners, hold far enough out that you can see around, but you stay far enough to the right of the road. So if a vehicle's in the middle of the road, you have time and space to get out of the way and to dive back to the outside where you're safe. Don't get sucked into going faster. The limitations on these roads aren't necessarily the motorcycle and the tires or even how good you are as a rider. The real limitations have to do with the environment conditions and the other users on the road. If you can't stop fast enough to avoid a car coming around a corner in your lane, you're going too fast. It's the skilled rider that recognizes those limits and doesn't get sucked in. And finally, keep your eyes up. Vision is the key to all of this. If you wanna stay relaxed, you need to look as far down the road as you can. When you're looking down at every rock, every stick, every puddle, every little patch of sand or mud, it causes you to be tense. In those limited sight corners, if you're looking through the corner, when you lean out from the bike and you peek around the corner, forcing that body to give you the best vision puts you in the best position for the corner. When you're looking farther out on the road to see what's going on and what's happening, it helps keep your speed in check. If you can't see through a corner, you're gonna slow down. If you have a long sight line, you're gonna speed up. That vision's gonna help control that speed. It is the key. 